Okay. Hey everybody, this is Wendy Walker here with Lynn Constantine of the Live Constantine Writing Duo for our latest edition of Book Brag. This week we have author Wendy Hurd and we are talking about her new release out today. It's her debut YA novel. Welcome, Wendy. Welcome, Wendy. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. So a little bit about Wendy Hurd. She is the author of two adult thrillers, The Kill Club and Hunting Annabelle, which Kirkus Reviews praised as a diabolically plotted creep show from a writer to watch. And I totally agree. Her latest book is She's Too Pretty to Burn, which Kirkus called a wild and satisfying romp. And it got a starred review. It's her YA debut, as I mentioned, and she lives in Los Angeles. And we are so thrilled to have you here. Lynn, do you want to take it away? Sure. Welcome, Wendy. Um, we like to start off just by having you tell everybody a little bit about your book in a few sentences. Yeah, sure. Well, again, thank you so much for having me. Uh, She's Too Pretty to Burn is a Dorian Gray reimagining about two teenage girls, um, a photographer and her muse, who get sucked into this dangerous spiral as they navigate an underground San Diego art scene. How did you get this idea? So I think the original jumping off point was Dorian Gray, but with photography and gender swapped. And that idea just kind of like went through a bunch of iterations um, until it became this idea of the magic in Dorian Gray. You know, it's kind of a speculative element with that portrait um, that absorbs all the aging or whatever. And in this one, it was talking about the magic of social media and like what one photograph can do to an entire life. So it's not speculative. Um, the magical element is the magic of going viral. So uh, I'm just wondering when you were writing the book, was there anything along the way that surprised you or that you learned, whether it was research or just um, something that surprised you about the, the development of the story? So this book was really interesting in that um, I had to plan um, one of the characters in this book, there's three main characters. And one of them is, a, he's an artist, kind of like a Banksy type of artist, if you're familiar, it's like these installation pieces um, that are like you sneak in and you do this big installation. And then that character considers them disruptive installation pieces where um, they're almost, they're vandalism, but are they? Um, and those pieces were really large scale. Like he has these ones where he's like blocking off an entire harbor. And he has this one where he's like doing this big ring of, tr like he does all these like building a forest, like these massive installations. So I had to plan those and like make sure that they were actually viable. Um, so everything in the book, I planned it out. Like I had to plan out these massive installation oh. pieces to see if this is possible. Um, so that was really, really interesting research to do. So, um, so uh, we call it book brag because we ask everybody to give us um, their best or favorite review of the book. Is there anything that you've read or seen uh, praising the book that you want to share? So that Kirkus review is the one that I thought of for this because that one just kind of made my day. They were pretty kind to my very first book. They were kind to my second book, but in my first book, they called me like a writer to watch, which I know they say all the time, but then to have a book come in where they give it a starred review, it was really awesome and like meaningful. And so I'll just read a snippet of that where they said, um, a romantic fast paced thriller inspired by a classic. Um, the story unravels in colorful electric prose through Mix and Veronica's first person points of view alternating between past and present. The tension builds well, leading to an exhilarating and twisty final third, a wild and satisfying romp. So that was cool. So good, I love that. So now we're gonna go a little bit into a uh, fantasy world. And if you had to be a character in your book, which one would it be and why? So there's three main characters, Veronica, Nick, and Nico. Nick just gets a hell of a terrible ride through the book. Like her life falls apart and everything goes wrong for her. So obviously I don't want to be Nick. Veronica is an aspiring photographer. She has a great life. She has a great relationship with her mom. She's really interesting and edgy and cool. Um, but I still think I want to be Nico because he does these big installations. I mean, I'm, I'm so interested in what that would be like to um, like he sneaks into places and he builds all these big things. He has this big warehouse that he rents in like terrible part of San Diego where he keeps all of these um, big, like, you know, 
equipment and all the stuff he has to learn how to do for his installation. So I think Nico, even though he maybe go, takes it a little too far. Now we're gonna move into the lightning round and ask you some questions that will let everybody get to know you as a person a little bit better and a writer. So the first question okay. is a pretty uh, general one that most writers are asked, pantser or plotter? Plotter. Ah. Wendy yeah. likes that. Okay, introvert or extrovert? Introvert. That's what I would have guessed. Yep, yep. Cat or dog? Cat, even though I have dogs. <laughs> they hear you say that? My daughter's allergic. They're my cat replacements. Ah, okay, gotcha. Okay, got it. Um, where, um, what's your favorite place to write? Um, there's a little tiny hotel that I like to go to in Morro Bay up the coast. I go there usually once the book when I need to take a weekend and just like drill in and focus and finish something. So that's my favorite place to write. It's in a little town up the coast. That sounds nice. I need some place like that right now. Amazing. Okay. Favorite word. Synesthesia. Oh. Right. You're going to have to give people, people the, uh, the definition of that. It's when your senses swap one thing for another. So you like hear colors or see music. Ooh. Can you do that? It's, yeah, it's a thing. I wrote about it in my first book. Weirdly, at the time my first book was coming out in 2018, a lot of people wrote about synesthesia that year. Isn't that weird how life it works like that? Like it's how out in that, yeah, exactly. It's very There wasn't like a big paper written on it or something. It was just for some reason. It was out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, what are you currently binge watching? Grey's Anatomy. Oh. I, oh <laughs> I think... We're all like obsessed with like, are we going to die of some disease? And then it's translating into like medical dramas. Okay, so that's like so random that somebody else has started watching Grey's Anatomy during I, It's got to be a psychological thing. I bet, I bet that show is like really high rankings right yes. now. So book you read in one night. They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. That Ooh. book flies by and it is so satisfying. She's Great. awesome. Uh, and what book do you wish that you'd written? Book Envy. Interview with a Vampire. I'm just gonna say it. I'm so mad. I love vampires so much. I wish I had written the like vampire book that started all the vampire stuff in the 90s. If you were able to have dinner with any fictional character, who would you choose? I chose Annalise Keating from How to Get Away with Murder. Love her. Oh, wow. Okay. She would be a good dinner companion. She's, talk she's for hours. Okay. And if you had to be something other than a writer, what would it be? I kind of always wanted to be a chef or a baker. I really like working with my hands. Right. But thank you so much for being with us. And again, today is the day that you can get your hands on Wendy's exciting new book. She's too pretty to burn on all online channels and independent bookstores, everywhere books are sold. And um, Wendy, can you just let readers know where they can connect with you on social media. Yeah, and thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere at Wendy D. Heard. That's like D like David in the middle. Or you can catch me on my website at wendyheard.com. Excellent, great. Thank you so much. Thanks, thank Wendy. Thank you. Bye. Bye.